Hello friends and welcome back to a new episode of the cheesiest man alive. Today we are starting against a 5.8k Protoss player. And I figured, you know what we could just do. We could just go for a cheeky cannon rush over here to start the day with. Um, so that is exactly what we're going to be doing. We're just going to send out this work. We'll send it towards the bottom side because it's less likely that my opponent will go there. Actually, that makes absolutely no sense. Um, it is what it is. Um, we're going to move up this ramp, go for a triple pylon wall, see if that's going to be viable in 3, 2, 1, here we go. Um, up. One more! <laughs> oh no! Uh, how unfortunate for you, my friend, that that... What? Wait, yeah, but I have two here, no? I'm sorry. No, no, no. I, I want to go in. I want to go in, buddy. I don't actually... Oh, maybe we can get it here. This isn't actually good, is it? Oh, boy. What a weird game. He pulled some crazy tricks to uh, buck through that wall, though. That was some beautiful stuff. I think I've just lost. I did not know that this was going to be uh, happening here. Well, maybe I can lock him outside. This bad boy is up! Wait, what? How did that end up going up? I don't quite understand here. That's for sure. Ugh. Nasty stuff. Nasty stuff. Um, it might still be viable for me to just play a macro game now. Is it? What's the worker count looking like for my opponent? I'm not so sure. Um, all I do know is that there's a cyber core on the way already. I have two pylons that are doing absolutely nothing. I'm just going to expand down here. If he decides to... He's probably going to try and proxy me, isn't he? Oh, that does look a little bit like it's going out for a proxy. So we're just going to send this across the map. Not necessarily to do something. But just to threaten and to keep the zealot at home. Let's take a look at how much gas has been mined. That's about 100 gas. That is zero gas so far. So... It seems somewhat playable, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. I do not actually want to die. We get a pylon over here. And we chase this. So I want to make sure that I can't be proxied. That is the the most important thing for me for now. I don't think I actually can be proxied. Get a cyber car. Maybe this is a very playable situation, actually. I didn't think it would be, but if I can get a cannon up here, the only thing... Oh, yeah, I want to go back with this. The only thing that I'm really lacking is anti-air initially, but I have a solid front, like... My, 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 you know, my main, my, my natural is going to be somewhat safe. There's not going to be any proxy whatsoever. Okay, well, he found my worker. This guy's a freaking magician. Uh, some solid eyes over there looking for this probe on the map. I still need to figure out if my opponent is expanding or not. So I'm going to send another worker out across the map. We'll get a stalker as well. And we'll follow this up with, I guess, a stargate on the low ground here. Oh, he found me. Well, that's unfortunate. Don't think I'll get to go across the map then. I also don't think my Stargate on the low ground is going to be a reality. Got a battery down here. Just going to actually hide this in the corner and then take an alternative route. Don't think my opponent will quite expect that. I don't think he did. It looks like he has lost me. Now, before I build my first Stargate unit right now, I'll need to do something very important. I need to know whether there's an expo or not. If there is an expo, I can get an oracle. If there is not an expo, I will probably need to leave the game. So these are the, the two options I have. No expansion. Okay. Okay. Second cannon. I'm going to get some more batteries as well. And we'll get a pylon over here too. I really need to figure out what my opponent is doing, though. Like, I now know that I'm being all in, but I also want to know what type of all in. We'll get a battery over here. Accidentally pull two workers. That's obviously a mistake. Uh oh, this does not feel good for me. This really does not feel good for me. Why is my opponent not doing anything? There's literally only two units out here. I am. This is highly suspect, no? Okay, two more stalkers. Maybe blink then? Uh, 
Maybe blink. No way he can just blink in here though, can he? Okay, he has a full wall too. This might be viable. This is this is probably possible to defend. I'm gonna get a sentry. No, I'm not gonna get a sentry. Who am I kidding? Maybe I'll get a sentry. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. Um, but what I do know is that I don't want to lose any of these cannons. That's going to be quite important here. I'd much rather be losing some probes right now. Up. Use the super thing, whatever you call it, the supercharge. We still have two cannons remaining, despite us losing one. Let's get another battery in the far back, and we get a sentry as well. That should allow us to maybe catch something that otherwise we would not be quite capable of catching. Get another cannon up here. Oh, actually did not end up using uh, what is known as a force field. Super battery is available now, which means that we can use it. And that means that all of his units are going to die. I think I win. I think I win. I can't believe. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Well, it's not over yet, at least. Wait, am I actually ruining this for myself? Mm, it seems right. Oh my god. That initial trick that he used there, that was some high level thinking. Look at this. Wait, no, we already had it at this point. So I, maybe I should let these two pylons finish in this case, so that the extra... He literally just bugs through workers, through... He probably was just gonna do it with more workers. You see, he was just gonna keep going if I finish this. <laughs> He's just sending these workers through to deal with my cannon rush. I had never thought of this in my life. This is the sickest response I've seen to cannon rush in, in honestly, my entire life. I had never considered this. Like, I don't, I, I'm thinking about like uh, a way to beat this or a way to, but this seems just like a, a solid way to defend Cannon Rush. I think if he had pulled his workers a bit faster and started doing that immediately and then had slightly better worker movement after, he's 100% winning that game, no? Or is it too expensive? My workers active was higher and he lost a bunch of works because that low ground cannon did finish up. He lost like four or five workers. That was bad. I forgot about that. I'm still not quite sure how that cannon actually ended up finishing. But that is crazy. It is Because it allows him, if he gets these workers down on the low ground, it just straight up allows him to, uh, to start blocking the area next to my cannon. So I can't wall it in with more pylons. I simply do not have the money. So I, e I either need to cancel these high ground pylons faster or... I just have to give up and not do anything. This is... I think this is a 100% win against Cannon if you do it well. Um, he did tap out with GG. So we're going to add a GG in the GG counter. Uh, that makes 17 out of 32. A little bit over 50%. I was very impressed with that defense. And we'll be heading into our second game. This time around, we get a, uh, a Hardwire. Another Protoss though. Oh, crap. Messing everything up already. And I actually have a special type of cannon rush on hardwire, which I'm going to show you, fellas. <laughs> okay, look at this. So, this is one of the most, I don't want to say optimized cannon rushes, but really it's one of the most optimized cannon rushes. I use the chrono boost immediately on my workers. I get the pylon at 14. One of my first workers went across the map. This is not the dude that is supposed to build the pylon. This is not a pylon scout. This is faster than a pylon scout. Then, on top of that, we get... A forge here. I need to be careful that I'm not going to get spotted if he gateway scouts actually. I hadn't quite considered that. Am I allowed to sneak by here? I think I am. Oh yes I am. Oh I'm supposed to send a, a second worker across the map a long time ago already. Okay so I go over here. Now we hope that the pylon isn't on the edge because then he's probably capable of seeing this. I also build it way too, f too, too close by but you know it is what it is. Why? I didn't even cancel that one, huh? That was not good, that was not good. Please, 
please give me money. Give me money. Oh my god, if I had cancelled it, I would have had money for this. And we would have been absolutely fine. No, I think I just straight up lose the game. This also is a great way to beat the cannon rush. Oh my god, wait, why did he have everything in the main base? Oh, he sees it? I should have built it one further down. Did he see it already, or what? He just knew that I was cannon rushing, or maybe he spotted it before. This is such an odd timing to scout it, no? Maybe he always does it. Yeah, fairly odd. It's very difficult to judge this type of stuff because a lot of people, they just have their own little timings. And actually, after second gas, that used to be the timing I used to scout as well, if I wouldn't wall at the ramp. Ah, I still should have been capable of winning this. Had I been a little bit quicker with an early cancel, and if my first pylon was slightly further out of reach. Now we get minus 35, tap out with a GG, and it is what it is. We'll be heading into our third game. Oof, now I get the exact same opponent. This time it is on Berlingrad. And then I'm never sure if I want to cannon rush again. I think the answer here is no. So instead we're going to be playing, yes, we're going to be playing the 13-14. Uh, this build is a, a legendary build, honestly. So it looks a little bit like a standard one gate type of build order. Because the pylon isn't super fast and the gateway also isn't super fast. But it is definitely faster than a regular pylon. So you're looking at a... a uh, a, a quicker proxy stargate than you could with anything else and that's of course what we're heading for and we'll do a proxy oracle in this case and we follow it up with a one gate expand this is a build order that is extremely not popular unpopular unpopular is the word i'm looking for um but i'm going to change that right here right now i think it's a good build order i believe there's some true potential with this and I'm going to show you guys why I believe that as well. So, we'll send this worker across the map as well. We could even fake... Ooh, if we're really feeling it. We could even fake a second pylon at home. That is kind of a, a high-level move, though. I'm not quite sure if everyone's ready for that. Sec yeah, no, we're gonna fake a second pylon at home. Oh, I'm so feeling that. If we do end up getting scouted, that is always a, 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 a beautiful little trick. So, this is the second pylon right now at home. And he will scout, like, oh, that's just a second pylon at home. There's nothing weird over here in this space. <laughs> in reality, I also have a pylon proxied across the map. One of the main tells in PvP that your opponent is proxying is the lack of a second pylon in the main base. Now, usually that, of course, is with a two gate. So this time around, my opponent might just be a little bit confused anyway. Okay, but he sees the second pylon. It's like, okay, that looks pretty standard, pretty okay. What's going on over here? So I'm also just going to immediately chrono boost everything here my star is a little delayed because i had to fake that i was getting my warp gate as well as my first unit wait i can't actually scout because I, that would be pretty suspicious i guess um he should be somewhat confused right now somewhat confused and then i'm just going to expand from here or I will follow this up with a Blink Stalker all in. Those are the two options. And I think we expand and then we do a Blink Stalker all in. That will be the, the what do you call it? The operation, the order of operations. Is that what you call it? I think that's also what you call the, it in math, isn't it? The order of operations. You have to do the, the multiplication and then the addition and subtraction. I, all, I did all of that in Dutch. I'm not entirely sure what it's called and how it works, but I think I'm being all in, by the way, here. I have a pretty decent uh, idea that I'm being all in. Oh my god, he finds it. Super unfortunate. That actually is super unfortunate. Um, I mean, my Oracle is still going to enter the main base. So it's not the end of the world, it's just... I wish it hadn't happened. See, you know, two, or two Stalkers already in the natural as well, or in the main. Not two extra stalkers on the way. I don't think I can actually hold the low ground here. I got a robotics facility. Okay, yeah, this is actually pointless. Hey, okay, what's my opponent doing right now? I'm, I'm, I guess I can pretend that I can take the, the low ground, but I know I can't hold it, right? It's blink. My phone is blink calling me off of one base. Not 
Can I actually hide there? No, I don't think I can. I finished this. Okay, that was not entirely my intention. <sighs> I don't think blink can be done yet, by the way. Not at this point. I don't actually know what the blink timing is for uh, a one base blink. Okay, like, my opponent's actually super all in. I think I'm uh, uh, underselling my position right now. If I just hold for even just like five seconds, I'm completely fine. Just need... Okay, I have a super battery available. Is he going to try and blink into my main base or what? It is possible. I just need to make sure that my, uh, my immortal can walk up towards the high ground. Okay, he's going to obviously blink on top of my immortal here. I am just not going to move in, you realize, buddy. Like, I have no reason whatsoever to move forward at this point. Oh no, I actually do. I really want that pylon to stay alive. Yeah, that was a decent reason, actually. Dang it. No, no, no. Come on. Can I hold this? It seems to be... Ah, oh, it's barely not in range here. Actually kind of painful. I did hit that. Come on, shoot it, shoot it! One. Two. Sentries. I hit all of the stasis, or well, all of the stasis. I hit my one stasis that I put in. One, Kevin. Probably should have uh, targeted that down a little bit better, faster already. Come on, get it. Get it! I think we win now. I'm not entirely sure. Oh my god, this is a tight game. I do not like tight games. Okay, we're going to hit another one, another stasis over here. No, my god, are you joking? He completely surrounded me. No, you gotta be kidding me. Is that not in range? How is that not in range? And why did that bad boy come back home? Oh my god, I'm going to lose this game. I cannot believe that I'm going to lose this game. How? Oh no, wait, it is in range. Why wasn't it repairing me earlier? How do I keep falling for the same exact trick? He just blinks on top of me and I can't move anywhere. I can't believe how dumb I am. And I've been playing this game for so long. Oh my god, this build should have worked. Maybe it's still working if I just hold my high ground. Okay, we changed the plan. We're going up into the high ground. I can't believe I lost my Oracle as well because of miscontrol. Nothing else. Let's not forget about that, huh? No, 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 no. You go back up, buddy. You go back up. There you go. <sighs> If I still had my Oracle alive, at least I would have been capable of scouting. No, I'm not capable of scouting. Ah, oh, this is a good move. I like that blink. That's a blink I like. Okay, we're dead. Holy crap, he only had 20 workers. Why did I lose my Oracle? I think I sent it back accidentally. This was one of the worst defense I've seen in my life. I never should have lost this. I was up 9 supply at this point. This Oracle could have just put down another perfectly fine stasis ward, but instead it flies back home into his stalkers. Then I've set it back in. I think I messed up. Oh, I had it in two different control groups. That's what went wrong here. But that explains a lot, actually. And then I let myself get kicked in the butt by these stalkers jumping on top of me like three times in a row. That was actually really poor. Here, once again. That literally happened three times, where he blocks my immortal from leaving. He's going to take my points for the second game in a row, and I do not like that. This is slightly frustrating, and I yeah, this is how it happens when the cheeser gets cheesed. Some good calls though, and uh, GG counter isn't going to change. We'll be heading into game number four. All right, my friends, we're over here on Glittering Ashes against the 6.2k Terran, and 
this is what I've been waiting for. We're going to cannon rush my opponent. And I actually have a very special cannon rush on this map. Well, not on this map, but against Terran in general. I've actually been practicing this build a little bit. I was thinking of using it in tournaments, but I'm not so sure about that anymore. Um, what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to play it against uh, this lovely Terran feller. And we'll build our first pylon over here. And that first pylon should be a little bit of a surprise for my opponent. And hopefully my probe also will go unspotted. This one's going to go in the main base to actually scout, see what my opponent is up to. I need to be fast, I need to be fast. I think he almost spotted that, didn't he? Is this fine? I'm not quite sure if this is in range or out of range or what the range on this map. I have the slightly wrong graphics. I think I was allowed to... Yeah, this seems about fine. I can wall that in for sure. Single? Or do I get double cannons here? Double cannons. Oh, we're in. We're in. We're in. I repeat, we're in. Got a third one. That's a cancel. That was a cancel. I repeat, that was a cancel. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god, I made it out. Oh, and we got one up. Can I, can I, can I, can I defend that? I can, I can. I can almost defend that. I can. Okay, we need one more over there. Into the faraway lands. <sighs> if only we had gotten two cannons up. With two, with, with two marines, you barely just don't have enough. Damage! Oh my god, I'm so slow! How is it possible? I just misclicked that completely, no? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, well, we're absolutely dead at this point. There's no point staying in. 15 works against 19. I think if we get the... The, the problem... I wanted to lock myself in. I probably should have tried locking myself in in, like, the corner over here or something like that. Or maybe I just shouldn't have tried to lock myself in. Just move downstairs. So this was a good cancel. Then I moved down here. I was a little bit too fast, though. There was still three seconds here. So I was like, if I can move into this little area, then build a pylon, I end up on the ro on the correct side of this pylon. I'm in a fantastic spot. But instead, I just end up losing my probe here. I end up losing this probe. And my third worker was a little late. Third worker is supposed to come in at this timing because usually you lose at least one worker. It's nice to have an extra one so you can add some cannons. If I have two cannons building at this point, both in range of these bad boys, life is really, really good for me. Like crazy good for me uh, i don't think there's any way that you lose at that point get two cannons up your opponent is is practically dead but instead the cannon does get taken out and lose game. okay we're gonna play one more i'm i'm not going to uh to let this happen i'm go not gonna end on a on a loss so i see you guys in game number five all right this is uh the same protos actually that i played twice already and i am not looking forward to playing this fella again because he has some darn good instincts he's a very solid player but also kind of all in -ish. I'm not quite sure yet what I want to do, actually. I'm thinking of just a simple proxy robo here might do the trick. Build it over here. Pretty close to the base, but not far, but not so close that he can just rally two stalkers there and kill it. I could also build it here, but slightly easier to spot, maybe. It's always it's difficult to decide where you want to put your proxy. The thing with proxies is, is the moment you found a good proxy location is not a good proxy location anymore, you know? The moment a location is too obvious as a proxy is not a good proxy no more. That is something that you really need to, to put in your head. Is that um, a proxy location is only good if it can remain hidden because that often is the entire point of it or at least remain hidden long enough. And I'm not quite sure if that is going to be the case. Here. We're just going to walk here straight away. Get a little bit of extra gas mining as well. That's important to me. This one gets rallied over here to get the cybernetic score. You go get that, buddy. Whoop. And then we'll follow this up with a robotics facility as well. 
Okay, so he gets in with the scout, 141. That means second pi or second gateway scout on this map. The timing checks out. He will now see the lack of my second pylon and immediately will start wondering, hey, where is that proxy? Where is that proxy going, my friends? Where are you proxying your building? And he's going to check this area for proxy stargate. We'll check this area most likely as well. But I am in the middle. This is a good spot. Um, I'm going to pull another trick here as well. And here I'll force my opponent to make a decision. And the decision is either staying at home with the two stalkers. Or take... Double chrono. That's a really wild play. Okay, so if I can bait this stalker into following me for a little bit... Oh my god, he found me already. That is really not good for me. That is, that is actually insanely bad. That is actually so ridiculously bad. I cannot stress enough how bad that is. I actually cannot stress enough how bad that is. So I'm just going to straight up walk here. I need to deny vision immediately. Oh my god! He didn't build a pylon. He should have built a pylon there for high ground vision. I'm going to shade these two away and add another pylon right now. Actually, I'm not going to shade these away. I'm going to keep these bad boys here. Maybe I can actually kill a Stalker at this point. Now I'm going to shade these two away. I'm not so sure if I can get this up. I think I can. Oh, that's one Stalker that you're going to lose there, buddy. That is one Stalker that you're going to end up losing there. We we'll have to wait and see what his actual Stalker movement will be here as a result. Okay, he's going back home. It's interesting to see, of course. We're just going to keep our probe is to make sure that I know what's going on. That's really the entire purpose of this probe. There might be two more stalkers on the high ground, by the way. No. If it's six stalkers on the high ground, it could have been a little bit tricky. Okay, so this probe knows that there's nothing running around. We saw a unit just get warped in. That's one of the things that has never gotten patched, is that you can see warp-ins through the fog of war, as long as you're close enough. It's kind of broken. You also can see rocks disappear, I believe. You don't need info on that, but they'll just disappear on the map. It's a kind of a weird bug. Always bothered me. Although I'm not much of a rock killer myself. I myself uh, really like stones. Not just stones, all types of rocks. Don't know anything about them, but I think they're cool, you know? Just the concept of rocks. I think it's a, it's a good concept. So I like to keep them around on these StarCraft 2 maps as well. I am deadly afraid right now. I have a feeling it's going to be another blink all in. It wouldn't surprise me if it's another blink all in at least. Mm, and in all honesty, I think that is not necessarily bad for my opponent. Blink finishes when exactly is the question that I have. Ooh, a robo here as well. Surely that's a mistake. No, nah, that is definitely a mistake. No, that is a, no, that's, that's really a mistake. We'll get a second Robo at home right now because our uh, Nexus is already done. So this is... I don't really want to call this an all-in. This is more of a... Well, okay, it's... It is an all-in, but it's more of like a... You know, you, you can transition out of the all-ins. Like you can with most all-ins, honestly. Like It's not unique to this one. Um, oh, he's actually getting a base. Yeah. What do I want to do then? I'll get my own Templar Arc at... Templar Archives. I get the Twilight Council. There's no way I can lose this game to the incoming push for two reasons. First reason being uh, I have three Immortals and second reason being I have a uh, Prism, which means that even if my ramp ends up getting force fielded I will be capable of holding very easily. So I'm just going to keep this over here. Make sure that nothing can jump into my main base. Keep this over here. Make sure that nothing can jump over there. We see the worker count. Oh, he's so far behind right now. So, because my opponent is this far behind, we are going to play a uh, immortal glaive follow-up. Not super uh, common anymore. Not very popular whatsoever, but still a good build if you want to win games fast. You see, the, there's an observer there. I'm not quite sure if you guys can see this, but this is an observer. Okay, it now moved away. 
Often when people move away with observers, it means because they want to have vision somewhere else. We're actually going to get an observer here as a response to that and say, hey, I want to deny some vision on your side of the map. Oh, he's actually going to try and blink in right now. No, we saw the observer move back again already. So it's probably somewhere over here with that observer. We're just here to clear an observer at this point, nothing else. One more immortal. And this is a cool move as well. So we're going to send out a prism towards the bottom side, prism towards the top side. Now this prism is going to get caught, hopefully. Hey, <laughs> nice. So that was a fake prism. And the other one is a real prism. And the reason I do that is because it allows me to start moving across the map in a little bit from now. Because moving across the map when stalkers are around is usually a very tricky task. However, it becomes a way easier task if your opponent is dealing with something at home. So I'm trying to figure out exactly where these stalkers are. But if they're not on the map, then obviously I can just go. Then we don't need to send in this prism yet. First, I really need to... Yep, yeah, okay. Just confirm the location of the stalkers. So he somehow figured out that my prison was on the map after all. Glory to the day and now we're moving in position. I think he'll be on top of this ramp. He should be at least. If he's not on top of this ramp, that means he's completely unaware of what's going on here. I think he might just be completely unaware of what's going on in this game. Uh, might not be completely unaware, but relatively unaware. And that's good enough, I think, over here. I accidentally sent a couple of my workers or a couple of my units back as well. Okay, well, we just want to kind of calm down. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We saw the super battery is, uh, you know, pumping away. That means that it's going to be hard for me to do anything too useful. Okay, I actually want to take this thing out. GG gets called and my opponent gets blasted. Oh, there was a gateway over here. How did I miss that? Must have barely just missed that. Nah, at, least, at least we get the win in the end, and that's the most important thing. 14 points added. We remain at 6k MMR. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with that. All right. Uh, GG as well. So uh, two GGs today, and I think three losses, something along those lines. So painful day, but a manner day, and that's also important. That's going to be it for me today. Thanks all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and bye-bye.